my name's Lynx Vilden and I was invited here to Mountain Film this year for the 50th anniversary of Wilderness by Emily Long, who's the program director. And um, she came out and took a class with me last September, my basic skills class, and um, invited me to come here because she knew that I did a film with Eric Vali a couple of years ago called Living Wild. And so we were invited to show the film here and um, to be a guest. If you looked at my website, the little short thing that it says is we aim to live in the wilderness, not just survive it to get back to civilization. And so that's really sort of the premise behind what I do. I've worked at survival schools and so on in the past. And, and with so many of these schools, the idea is you survive and then you come back to how you lived before. And uh, I, I was always more interested in, well, what about the people who just lived in the wilderness? You know, the, our ancestors and the indigenous people of, of this land. and um, what if we don't want to come back from civilization? So that's sort of where it starts. Like, how can you live and be comfortable and at, at home in the wilderness? Now what? Yeah, it's a pretty big question. Um, things are changing in, in the world and on the earth so rapidly. And it is a good question because we've got to do something. And I think one of the, the, the things that keeps coming up from, for me is that um, we've had a lot of talk and there's been a lot of well, you know, this is terrible and we have to do something about this, but how many of us are really willing to change our lifestyle in order for things to get better? And, and I think that perhaps that's part of it, you know. I think um, coming together in the small, smaller communities so that perhaps we don't have to travel such long distances, for example, because that's one of the things that is so destructive on the earth is our incessant need and desire to travel all over the earth and burn a lot of fossil fuel. And um, so I can see maybe becoming a little bit more community oriented and um, making decisions about how we travel and how we use resources that would be less, um, a little more sustainable. And um, in my own personal goal is that I want to be spending a year just uh, in, on the land and in the Stone Age environment. You know, it's going to be a big thing for me to do that too. I'm a little bit scared to do it, but um, I think I'm ready after all these years of preparation. I'm ready to give it a shot. Oh, it's been actually a really amazing and very uh, inspirational trip for me. Um, I've met so many people and I've just felt so much love emanating from everybody and, and so much hope and um, desire to live in a better way and to share what people have learned. And uh, It's almost impossible to express it in words, the feelings that I've had being here just in these few short days, but uh, inspiration and joy are probably two of the top two words I can think of.